watching it and thanks for watching. Are you ready to get this party started? And I mean right now. Well, the mothers on my show today are accused of getting the party started and it never stops. Please welcome my first guest, Caitlin, in the show. Caitlin, how you doing? Yeah, how are you? Hi, Caitlin. Why are you here in New York City today? Okay, I have a friend, Janice. She's my best friend. She's been my best friend. I met her about five years ago. She's starting to get out of control. She strips. She has no money. She has no phone. And she hasn't paid me any rent. You know, I feel bad for her. She had a fight with her relatives. Now I took her into my house. I don't know what's going on. She's also webcamming, is that correct? She's webcamming. Explain that to a few guys in the audience may not have experience with that. What is webcamming? <laughs> Well, um, webcamming, I guess uh, she goes on the webcam in her room, locks herself in the room for hours. She shows guys her body. She says they pay her $500 an hour to do this, uh, or sometimes they pay her $100 an hour. She gives me different prices. Um, and this, this is in your house? This is in my house. She locks herself in the room. I have an extra spare room. She locks herself in the room. I've caught her like two times. She shuts the computer. She's acting out of control. I feel very bad. She has a daughter. I don't know what to do. I and the daughter's there, too? No, the daughter is not there. Not there? No, she doesn't who's have in the custody house? of the uh, give daughter. Me, who's in the house? Who's in your uh, house? It's me, my boyfriend, and her. That's and, it? And that's it. Just now, what three. about these men that she brings into your home? Talk oh. about the men. Okay, the other night I was sleeping and I heard the door open. It was her. I saw a guy run into the room. I don't know what she does with these guys. I confronted her about it. She got so angry. She threw the table. She started cursing at me, calling me names. It's my friend. You're embarrassing me. You know, I, I, I don't know. I have a, a daughter. Like, you can't bring guys into the house. You bring guys into the house. I don't know if they're going to shoot me in the head and want to steal money. I don't know. Do you think she has a drinking problem? Yes, Is she, she an has alcoholic? a drinking problem. Yes. I mean, what would you call this? She drinks every night and she'll wake up and say, I can't take it anymore. I hate my life. I'm hungover. I need a beer. I'm shaking. So she'll go in the fridge and she'll drink beer. And she doesn't have custody of her own daughter, no. right? She lost custody of she her own does. kid. Yeah, and I feel bad for her. You know, I, I try to help her, but I don't, th this is not helping. This is not helping. Well, let me ask you this. The problems are then, she got kicked out of her situation. Yes. Out of the goodness of your heart, yeah. you said, come on over and stay with us. Yeah. She pays no rent. No rent. Webcamming. Yeah. Prostitution. Men all hours. Yeah. Drinking. And you're afraid now she also might be hitting on your boyfriend yeah. that you're living with. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now they're both starting to act weird, and now he's cursing at me, and they laugh together and make jokes. They're in the back smoking cigarettes. I don't know what else they're smoking, and now me and him have been fighting constantly. So I don't know. I don't and you know made him take a lie detector test yeah, today. I did. You want to find out the truth. Yeah. You want to know whose cheese is on whose cracker. Yeah. Is what you're telling me. <laughs> She also, I understand it, she's pawning some of your stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. Explain what's going okay, on. So what a roommate. This is a great roommate. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's not funny, but it's horrible. Like, the laptop, she took the laptop, and I saw her one day. With, she was like, oh, I need to get a new laptop. I'm like, why? Where's the one I gave you? She said she pawned it. I'm really sorry. I'll get it back. I needed money to pay for my daughter's daycare. The mother called me. She never paid for the daycare, so obviously she just used the money and blew it again. At this point, Janice is very upset okay, yes. about the things you're saying about her. <laughs> I know. So I'm going to go backstage and talk to her briefly. Okay. And we're going to try to get you two together. Okay. Because you got problems. But you know, there's at least two sides, sometimes three sides to every story, correct? Correct. Because you never know. But we're going to get her out here. Okay. But you also got the Jonathan problem. Yeah. And you think something might be going on between... Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know why he would just start acting different out of nowhere. They got so close. Once she get, started getting into stripping, they got so close. They're always in the backyard smoking cigarettes, making well, jokes. We fight all the you time. You stay here. All right. I'll be right back. Stay right there. All right. <laughs> I need to get away from her. All right, what's going on? I need on, to get huh? away from her. What's going Nothing. on? Nothing. She's just... Well, who the is she to me? What is she saying that's she, wrong? What, what is she saying? Everything. She's putting my whole life out there. It's my body. If I want to smoke, I can smoke. If I want to get drunk, I is can get drunk. Is what she's saying true, though? Yes, yes. Whatever. Half of it. I mean, whatever. She overexcited. Is that your story? No. Webcamming is not prostitution. If are I'm you sex for money, of course I am. What about your child? She... I don't have her right now. Where is she? She's with my mom. All right, what, let me ask you this. What about you and Jonathan? There's, a, there's an allegation here. Something's going on. we gotta, we got to get this on the table and find out what's going on for well, this relationship. Well, she'll find out today. You're going to find out? She'll find out today. Find. What do you want to see happen? I want her to get the 
of my life. She needs to seriously get out of my life. She well, let's do to, this. You, she needs to leave me alone. She needs to mind her own business. Let's Let do me do whatever I want to do, let's whenever do I want to do it, I'm however gonna, I want to do I'm it. I'm going to separate it's you. It's not her I'm body, separate it's my body. And we're going to separate you. Yes, please let's get go. the chair far away from her. We will. Come on, let's go. Because I will snap on her. Here, watch it. Okay. Would you go in my chair, Caitlin? Would you sure. go over there? And you, I'm going to sit in between you, right here. All right, now tell me why you're so upset. What's going on? Now, let her talk. Because it's embarrassing. You bring me on. You bring me all the way to New York to put my whole life out there. Why don't you just let me do me? Why can't I just do me? You have. What's the what's, what? What is it to you? What I do, Caitlin? You have what a is daughter. it to you? Who cares? Okay, what is it to you, you need though? To get your life How, are you putting clothes behind her? Are you, are you putting clothes on her back? You're gonna are you putting food in her mouth? No, but you're not either. How many times? Because I drink. You're not. You're not. Every Mary single day. Who are you? Are like, you Mother Teresa? You're, you're being out of control. You're so perfect, right? You're being out you're so of perfect, control. You're right? drinking you, every you're single so perfect. day. I don't oh, know so what you don't drink every day? I what happened last night? What happened last night? Where did the money go? What happened, what happened last night? night? Caitlin, what happened what last night? What happened last night? We started flipping yeah, we the bags in the hotel room. Big fight in the hotel. Why? Because you drank NYPD last night. You're with my boyfriend. You're both cursing me out. Yeah, I drank. So what? I'm in New York. I don't have my daughter with me. I'm not having a drink. You're in New York. That's your excuse. So what's your excuse when you're drinking at 10 in the morning? I'm sitting there the whole taxi ride cursing. Can't even wait they're cursing at me the whole way they're waiting on Janice, are you, you a prostitute? Are you a prostitute? Um, am I a prostitute? Pro do you sell your sell your I body for money? For money, no. But what, web cabbing is not. What about that this guy that what's comes in? Webcam? She's like, there. So guy. The what do you do with that guy in the room? Money. I'm just getting paid for what I have. You're not like, having oral sex for money. I'm getting like five hundred, six hundred dollars an hour so sometimes. Money? Like, right, well, what are you doing to get the so, five or six hundred? What? Are, showing my body. Showing your body. On the internet. But there's no like, sexual activity. No sexual activity. What was the guy doing I used in to your do room? Body rubs. Body uh, what? Bobby, body rubs. I used rub. to do body rubs, but it's not that. <laughs> Did they have happy endings at times? <laughs> no. No. I mean, Let me ask you this: Do you think you came here to try to solve a problem? No, I came Talk. here to get her shut. Shut up. Shut up. Talk about your child that you don't have custody of. Isn't that a problem in your heart? Doesn't that get you very I just, upset? I'm not stable right now to have her in my life. So you know what? Yeah, it is a problem. I want my daughter back, but I'm not stable for this right now. I can't have her in my life right now. Like, I, I, I'm what being can smart. We do? I'm being a good mom. I can't have her if I'm not stable mentally. Janice, what can, we do? what can we do to make you a better mom? That's number one. What, what, what are you shaking mom? your head for? <laughs> because I just really What are you shaking your head me? for? I really hope What you What are you trying to get out of this? Are you happy? I'm here. What are you, you, what are you gonna get out of this? My boyfriend. Your I'm boyfriend, baby girl. Your boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. What, what do you want? What do you All right. Let me ask you a question. Up front. Did you sleep yeah, with Jonathan? You Did you sleep with Jonathan or have any sexual activity with him? He yeah. took a lie detector. You want to say yes or no, or you want to keep that between He's you? Tried. And... What? He's tried. He tried. He tried. Or you tried. He tried. Or you tried. He tried. Baby he tried. tried. Or you tried. He tried. The stripper. Jonathan came he on tried. to you. <laughs> the stripper, right? The stripper. The stripper. Who tried? You tried or him? Not that serious. Well, he's a. He's not a good person. Maybe you can Aww. keep him. Are Let you me throwing find out. Jonathan under the bus? Let me find out with the lie detector test. Let me find out with the lie detector test. I want to find out. Did you pawn her, li her laptop? You, if yeah. I find out, you pawned her really laptop. Yeah. Did, you're gonna she gave you tried to blackmail me because I had some pictures on there, so I took that. I sold it. Right. <laughs> you sold it. You sold yeah, it. Yeah, I did. And you know how much that? Guess how much the laptop You're not gonna was? Blackmail me it was a thousand dollar laptop. She got two hundred dollars for it. I'll never see it again. A thousand dollar laptop gone for two hundred dollars, and right. I don't even know where the money. Let me goes. ask this question for you, Jan. Are you here to yeah, help your best it. girlfriend, yes, or no. are you here to put her? She's here to put on me on blast. blast. I want to help her, but, she's, she's but I, I don't me. like the thing jealous, with, with my boyfriend. You're jealous? I, I want to help jealous? her, but I want to know about jealous? my boyfriend. Now I'm starting jealous? to get crazy. Are you now jealous? I'm, starting to get crazy. I'm not jealous. What am I jealous of? Someone who has no car, no money, steals everything. My what am I jealous of? You're a beautiful girl. Why do you act like that? You're a beautiful girl. You don't need to act like that. took my license away because of her. Because she's such a good friend, right? It's my fault that she drove drunk. Okay. The big issue here is to make you a better friend but most importantly a better a, a better mother I'm a good friend and I don't get, judge get her. your child back I don't judge her. and to see what's going on with Jonathan with Jonathan guys. is her boyfriend correct <laughs> yeah. I wish this we'll be back with more stay right there <laughs> the man in the middle is here and he's got a lot to say secrets I'm tired of Janice calling problems between me and Caitlyn. She's nowhere near good enough to be Caitlyn's friend. Do you hear me, Janice? I think you're nasty. Today's about difficulties within a very small, small family unit. How can we get a situation where Janice can get her kid back, but most importantly, Caitlyn? And get her out of yeah. my life. Do you think... That your best what girlfriend is what messing around with your boyfriend. Yeah, I think so. You think so? Look how she's like getting so angry. How could you be? How could you be so angry at a person that's helping Let you? You obviously want Let something that I have. Get out of my how business. How are you going to be so angry? You're going to get me out of your life. You're going to be in so 
closer if you get out of my way, okay? I'll Talk about it. You know what? Don't worry. Then she stepped up. When you need help, she stepped up. I'm out. When I need help, she when stepped up. Are you serious? What? Once out of how, I've known her for how many You're years? You're living now? with her. Okay, who, they, well, she's kicking me out every other day. That's why I stopped paying rent. Because she kicked me out. She's like, no, come Maybe back. Maybe it's the men and the webcam. Maybe that's it. I have a daughter that lives there, too. Her daughter lives there watching this. What if they kill my daughter? Let's clear all this up right now. Please welcome Caitlin's boyfriend, Jonathan, to the show. Jonathan, come on out. Move over. No, wait a minute. I don't know how to do this. Can you move over? Move over there, honey. I can't out. sit next to her. All right. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> she out. accused you of coming on to her. That's what she said. Okay. Is that right, Janice? Yep. That's what happened. That's, you... what, that's what happened? How about you try to sneak into my bed last night? That's what happened? What happened? He yeah, probably did. For I believe one, it. yesterday, we all, she was we all, we all <laughs> slept in the same bed last night. Did we not? <laughs> did we not sleep in the same hotel? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. Did I hear that? Did you sleep in all three in the same bed? Yes, but it wasn't like that. It wasn't like it wasn't that at all? Like that? No. I mean, I don't know. what. Maybe they did something when I was sleeping. That's why I want to know. I want the lie detector Ask test. Him. Ask him how You took the lie detector, right? Ask him how drunk he was. Yes, I Let did. me find out. Wait, you better go I, far I, I, away. You better move the chair over there. Because let me find yo, something yo, out. Shut your for mouth. both of you. Shut your mouth. Who are you talking to? Calm down. You already know. I need to go away. Away. Please. You already know what happens when you raise your voice at me. Chill out. Yeah, I already know. Have you slept with Janice? Yes or no? No, I haven't. Are you going to pass a lie detector? Of course. Have you ever tried to sleep with her? No, a man. Well, I don't know. Well, that's not it. You don't know? I you don't haven't know. tried to sleep with me? I heard no, and I'm a man. You haven't tried to sleep with me? You're going to be homeless. You haven't tried to sleep with me? You're going to be homeless. Because who's the one that works for no. Okay? No. Why don't you talk to your man, people. Jonathan? What is it? With you. I can't deal with you. Oh, I can't deal with your insecurities. Hey, hey, I can't deal with. Shut I can't. Shut your face. Shut your face. Don't talk to me like that. You better stop disrespecting me like that before. Shut your face. Stop disrespecting you me. You guys are really crazy. Like, I hope don't you Don't hit a woman help. and don't hit a man. He will hit me. Help. I, yo, you, you know what? I'm Tell me what's going on. Have you ever directly or indirectly tried to approach her for sex? I'm a grown, In any form? I'm a grown man. The answer is yes. She, no. Let's see the lie That's, detector. No. I want to see. The, the, the lie detector will say everything. The lie detector will say everything. And as for them kicking me out of my house? That's your house. For one, it's my house. They live with me. Does she have a drinking problem? From the tree. Yes, like, yes, I know does she have a drinking yes, problem? Does. Do you have a drinking problem? No, I don't. You're the only one without a drinking problem. Yeah, I'm the only one. And you watch these two girls fight all so the time. Wait, all the time. Right they they pay the bills. Too. See, they both are very, they're just hypocrites. You guys are hypocrites. You guys are hypocrites. Every time you guys say I'm drunk, you guys are right there next to me. You what are you guys talking about? You have to drink every time you this get on not, the webcam. You know, not Jesus. Every this time, time you get on the webcam, you have to drink. Stop putting everything on me. Is she a bad influence on Kate? Is Janice a bad influence on Kate? Hold on, I have to cut you off for a second. She makes her own decisions, but yes, I have to cut you off for a second. For what? Did you know that he tried to pimp me out? Hold on. I tell her. Tell, tell, tell me what, what, what he means. Pimp you tell out. Me. He's me here telling you that you, he doesn't want you around Let me. He doesn't want me to get story. you to do it. And that, Let you know, because I told you to spend money. He said he wants he me tried. to do it? That's not true. Let me Listen, see. Listen. What did he do to He tried to pimp me out. Explain what happened. Because it's good money. What happened? It's good money. So he said, let me handle the business. He was going to set up for me. You pay the bills? You pay the bills? Body rock. And you smoke my massage in the backyard with her. her. Invest in a massage table. Good. Jonathan, are you investing in her massage table? Am I investing? Investing. You're you're saying you saying you want to pay better. Trust it's paying the bills. It's paying the bills. So you're pimping her out for massages, right? Uh, I wouldn't call it pimping. I would, I would call it, uh, I guess you could Take say... Taking advantage. No, not really. Um, Investment, 401k. <laughs> I'm about to Thank say that. With a little, bit of a, a little bit of a return. A little bit of a return. What about Caitlin? Can you get do away you... from me? Or can I move? I got to move. Do you I love move. Caitlin? I swear to God, I'm going to flip the Caitlin? table yeah. in one second. I love women. Like, you want to get hit Boy, in the head with a table? I swear to God, like, you're pissing me off right now. Do you hear what he's telling you right now? You guys are so embarrassing. Do you hear what he's telling you right now? Good. You guys are so embarrassing. And women allow me to live my lifestyle. Oh, women allow you to live. So wait, why don't you go with a woman that'll pay for you and put a roof over your head? Because you're Bro, you're you're I'm living in a nice house. Who drives the Audi? Who drives the Audi? Who drives the Who drives the Audi? 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 What kind of mother is Janice, Jonathan? What kind of mother? I haven't seen her. Every other day you're buying makeup and returning it, but we're broke. Every other week you're getting loaded. Yeah, because I realized, oh, I should have spent that much money, so I do return money. Janice, when's the last time you saw her? When's the last time you saw your daughter? 
Ask him when the last time she funny. Once. Let me do the first question first, then the second. Gotcha. What? When's the last time you saw your daughter? Weeks or months? Weeks. Weeks. Maybe Weeks. years. Weeks. Let's clear things up. Weeks. We have Janice's mother here, on. Michelle, joining us on a phone call from Coral Springs, Florida. Check up here. I can't talk to her. <laughs> Michelle, can you hear my you voice, Michelle? I yes, I can hear you. Talk to me about your daughter and what's going on with your granddaughter. Yo, this is going to piss me off. Well, honestly, I'm so upset with Janice. You know, she has a beautiful five-year-old daughter, and she's acting like a... <laughs> I got a... Go her daughter. Just for a moment, know? honey. I can't talk to her. I have a no contact. As I understand it, there's a restraining order. order that keeps you two apart. Is yes. that fair to say? I can't talk to her. Don't she look can. and don't talk, talk to her. Don't talk to her. Stay here. And she's not you're not you're not physically present. You're not talking to her. Mom, tell me about your granddaughter and the actions of your daughter towards your granddaughter and let her talk. Go ahead, Michelle. Well, my granddaughter, listen, she acts for mommy every day. I hate her. Day. She sounds like I have a a up. My granddaughter from school. I heard her ask me, where's mommy, why mommy can never come pick me up from school. That's up. She asked me, where's mommy? I don't have a car right now. I can't drive. And her act towards her daughter is like, she knows she loves her, but then she acts like drinking is more than her daughter. So, so you're, you're saying that your daughter, Janice, cares more about alcohol than her daughter, and you're giving her a message that if she does not yeah, get help, you're taking full custody. Yes. And I honestly don't want to, yeah, but right. I have to do what I have to do. My granddaughter, I will. Yeah. Jan, I, Michelle, thank you because you two cannot talk. Janice, you heard your mother who cares for you so much. What yeah, will you she do, cares if about anything? Me so much that she's trying to take my daughter away from me instead of getting me help. That's how much she cares about me. No, that's not the way you help your daughter out by throwing her in the streets. I practically was homeless for a little bit. Like, you know, whatever. We went who helped you? Family has problems. You know what the I mean? Idiot but as a here. mother, you should help me instead of trying to throw me in the streets. And let me if later in the show we throw you a lifeline, would you be interested later in the show if I throw you a lifeline? Would you consider pulling it? She doesn't and getting need help. She's good. I'm her She's life. good. I'm her lifeline. Oh, life. no, you're her lifeline. Oh. You're her lifeline. Oh. Well, guess what? I'm Both talking them, about the alcohol problem. Both of them need to get out of the house, okay? So now the you both can mine. have a place to stay. The house is mine. You the both are going to go. My name. Both of you. The house is mine. No, guess what? The lie detector test will tell all. Coming up next is a three way family love triangle. More coming up. Stay right there. You know they're together, she's a slut, and he's always with her. He's always hanging out here in the backyard. He doesn't pay anything. I'm the one working. Can't even go out and have fun. Now I'm gonna turn into a crazy person because I can't take it anymore. Sisters at war. Stop chewing. Smoke weed and all that. Bring dudes up in your house. You have a group of dudes. But I take care of my kids. I got custody of my kids. My kids with me 24 7. I can't even wipe my off my kids. So what the is all about? Over an out of control lifestyle. I need a drink to get the hell up out of your face. Like, for real. Like, this is crazy. No, whatever. And one reaches her breaking point. It's not true. What about losing custody of your kids? What about going off with men in exchange for money? Today's show is all about mothers who have lost their kids due to wild partying. Please welcome my next guest, Whitney, to the show. Whitney, how you doing? Fine. All right, honey. Why are you here today? What is the problem in your relationship with, because with my your sister? sister um, she has two kids that she don't have custody of, and she lost custody of them, and she needs to get some help. All she wants to do is drink and party, and it's just get it out of hand. She's 26, and she don't have no type of responsibility or stability in her life. And she loves those two kids, though. Yes. But she acts in a way that makes it impossible for her to have custody of them. Yes. All right, now, what kind of things are, is she doing? Give me some examples. Um, like, when she gets drunk, we get into it, we fight, we argue. She got into an incident where she fell and broke her tooth, and me and my mom had to help to get her tooth fixed. Sure, and it goes on and on. How does she treat the babies? What have you seen with her two kids, that, the reason she lost custody of them? She lost, um, well, her son, she hasn't had him since he was a newborn, and she hasn't had her daughter. Her daughter's eight years old. She hasn't had her, none of her kids for the last eight years. Where are her kids now? Her son is in foster care, and my mom has custody of her daughter. Wow. And how, how often do they 
see each other. Is well, it a... we see her daughter on the, we see her daughter all the time. I can see my niece all the time. All the time. She sees her daughter, but her son. I don't know when the last time, like that, I really actually saw my nephew. So she drinks every day. Yes. Constantly. Constantly. Doesn't stop. No. What do you want to see? Because you love your sister, and you love your niece and nephew. What do you want to see come out of today's show? What do you want? I want to see my sister get help and be a mom to her kids and stop all the drinking and stuff. You also heard that Ashley might be prostituting herself? She's not prostituting. What is she doing? Um, She's just ex involved with men in one way or another. That, well, How does she get money? Um, from the men that she meet. Yeah. Let's do this. I'm, I'm going to go back and quickly meet with Ashley. And then we're going to bring Ashley on. Stay right here, honey. I'll be right back. Ashley, you hear what's going on out there. What do you say to this? Is, is any of this true? <laughs> it's not true? What about losing custody of your kids? What about going off with men in exchange for money? What about all that? No. True or false? False. I just have a lot of friends. You know, this she, she hasn't seen. Let, come here. Let's resolve this. Come here. Come with me. Do you want? Come on. As much, as much pain as you're in. Crying is not going to help. Let's go there and you you love your sister, right? And she loves you and she wants the best for you and she wants the best for your kids and you want the best for your kids. Okay? Let's see what the problems are. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on. Watch your step. Right here. Right here. Right here. Tell me what's going on because... Is this the intervention that you need, or is this so much anger that you don't accept it? Interventions are important if we can have today change your course of your life, the arc of your life. Do you recognize, number one, do you have a problem, honey? With her. <laughs> with her? Why you got a problem with me for, Ashley? What have I did to you? Anyways, um, what have I did to you? I helped you take care of your daughter. Me? We won't. Anyways, no, none of that is true right now. So I, ha I, didn't... I didn't have honesty before I had Kyrell? What? Ashley. You have, but you, she didn't stay with you. How long did anyway, you? Anyway, she's not well, innocent, you okay? Had you, you said, you it said. It don't matter. She said this ain't about me. Smoked, this is about she you. She weed and all that. Bring dudes up in your house. You have a group of dudes. But I take care of my kids. I got custody of my kids. My it, kids with me 24-7. So what the so about? Ain't nobody tell you to have all kids. Anyway, like I said, none of that's true. With men for no money. I didn't say you no, should with men for money. No, so I don't. Shut, whatever. Yeah, no, I don't. Whatever. And she'll tell you she set people up to get robbed and put us in danger. Oh, huh? why are you lying? Yes, you sound yes, dumb. Jealous, you think we jealous? Jealous of what? Jealous of what? I got custody yeah, of my kids. Yeah, because you probably made my mom have a better kids. relationship. My kids stay on with Facebook, me. starting all kind of drama. We're not here about me. This is about you, okay, Ashley. Okay, let's talk about you, too, then. Man, we're not talking about me. Ashley, all I love you, all I want you to do is get some help and stop drinking and get your No, you, no, you cannot. Right. I did not lose my kids. That's so, what I'm saying. Somebody lost their kids. What happened? I placed them where I, wanted, where I think they should be because take, I wasn't mature enough to take you, care of them. That's not losing son? your damn kids. Why they take home? Who, took, you, who took your son away? Why did nobody take him? You gave him away? Why CPS, no. Why CPS take home? Why, why because, he had to go live with her? Because you were in, in mom line. Like, no, just, whatever. Just Is she reporting you to CPS? Why for what? She do. She's vindictive, okay? Is she trying to embarrass you? Is that it? No, and my child half, half of the stuff she said ain't true. Now the kids part, yes. That's what true. about that's the true. drinking every day, the bars? Is that true? Do you have a little bit of a? Yeah, I got, do you have a little I, bit I of a drinking? I have anger, okay. I mean, yeah. and if I want to drink, I can do that. Okay? How about alcohol problem? I'm grown. No, I don't have. I want to drink. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with you that. You doing drink at home? Right now. No, I need a drink to get the hell up out of your face, like for real. Whatever. I got, like, <laughs> no, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Will Ashley face her sister again? We, we will be on her fight in our bed, seriously. No, you're not. We're going ten yes, feet away. We no, we no fighting we're not, up there. No fighting. Fight. More drama. Hey, hey shut, up. Wait, shut up. Wait a minute, shut up. She's trying to push shut me down. Shut up, okay? Be Make for real. Make me shut up. No, you need it. More bombshells. Yeah, that's my bomb. That's your bomb. That's my bomb. You guys me. And results. Have you ever attempted to have sexual relations with Janice? You said no. That was... Do you want to confront your neglectful or abusive mother and get some help? To share your story with us, contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com.
call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. How about giving us a call right now? Family, we're not going to come on here and act like that, okay? It does matter. Ten feet apart. Ten feet, honey. Come talk with me. Ten feet. Ten feet apart. Ten feet. Let's go. Ten feet. We'll put her on the opposite side, but no fighting on stage. Please welcome Whitney's and Ashley's mother, Therese, to the show. Therese, Mama, tell me what's going on. I hear one the version. You know, you're the mother. What's going on between these two? Okay, first of all, let me put it straight. Okay. Please. Um, Whitney, you know, you called, but see, well, every time you point your finger at somebody, you got three pointing at yourself. You know, you're no innocent as she is. I'm no innocent as she is. I fell, I fell short of the glory, too. You know, we all have made mistakes, okay? But you constantly want to badger her and put me down and everybody else. You've cussed me. You've tried to stab me. You've did all kind of stuff. Whoa. And you can sit there and you can laugh. You but you know what's the truth. I'm trying to stab you. Because, because my I was, sister was but, pregnant in Ohio, and you said, I'm going to get a ride and come back, but you was out there but smoking. Still, you I, didn't I, even it come back. Matter. I was sick at the time, Whitney. It don't matter. I was sick and at like the I time. It does matter. I said, I'd rather kill you than let you die out here. Well, what, what makes you care. God? What makes you God? I'm not you're, God. Okay, but you, you listen. Help. It don't matter. Whitney, what if I'm we've been through enough, why is she going to put her kids okay, in jail? We Whitney, went through. It's, listen, listen. We as a family need to come together as unity and help each other. You're not here to put me down. I'm not here yeah, to put her down. I'm not here to put you down. Okay. But you're not asking me help. Okay, you we all need help. Nobody, anybody. But she need help. You want the first stone. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's got problems. It's how you handle your problems that matter. She yeah. said home and smoke blunts all day. And she's most concerned about Ashley's drinking. Does Ashley have an alcohol problem? Yeah, Ashley yeah, drinks quite a bit. I just told you I did. Yeah, you did. So she didn't come in there screaming it's, last night when she was I drunk? Sure what did. happened last night? Look, look, I look, sure did. Let's, let's, let's let that the pot talk about the kettle. She didn't tell because you that you know I went to go to jail because she punched me in my face. Okay, okay but listen. I punched you in your face because you pushed me. It doesn't matter. Excuse me. Shut up. Wait a minute. Shut up. Wait a minute. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, be for real. Shut up. No, you need to shut up because you know what? Both of y'all was out last night. Okay, now we had the baby. Out to eat. My what time did you get in this baby. morning? We was out to eat. It don't no matter, you was gone. But I wasn't drunk. It don't matter, your boat was matter. gone. So they both like need help. They both need help. help. And you need help. Have you slept recently a little bit? Yeah, I did, but I already got everything lined up. You got it lined up. You're good. Can you ask her what's wrong with her? Well, let's do this. We're going to try to ask help. Her what's wrong with her. Whoever needs help is willing to accept it. We may offer later on some help. She, let me tell you. Well, she, throw your lifeline, but you got to pull no, yourself she's in. She's going to court now because she be on Facebook bullying people. <laughs> We're not on here today about me. I we ain't on I here so Ashley can get some help, Mom. Okay, you, you can't need help. You need help. Yes, I do. She you need help. Too. Yes. What if well, later on we offer you some help? Might you accept it? Yeah, I want to get Lie detector test coming up and more. Stay right there. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll free. Moms confronted over bad behavior. Ashley, all I love you, all I want you to do is get some help. And stop drinking and get your No, you cannot. Did this mom's wild lifestyle lead to the ultimate betrayal? Have you ever attempted to have sexual relations with Janice. You said no. That was... We've been dealing today with mothers who put partying above children, and I just saw before we go to the lie detector test results that you two, during the break, had a moment, and you came together, Therese. Talk about your hug and what that means to you and where do we go from here well my thing is i want us to come together we don't have to be like the rest of the people i want us to come together as a family i'm not worried about what nobody else do i'm 52 years old i don't know if y'all believe it not i don't know if i look like it or not but i'm 52 years old you know and one day god is going to call me home i don't want to leave the burden on her to take care of her children or somebody else to take care of them it's time for ashley to step up to the plate i need to right. get away from we may get you help later on jonathan let's deal with this right now have you been loyal to her of course since you i've been two loyal to her she knows she no other ones. You know this. No, what, what are the Caitlin, comments about this? What do these results mean to you? What if he passes his thing with flying colors? Yeah, and he has a house to live in. What if and I if I he do? doesn't pass, they're going to be calling Motel 6 for exactly. both of them because yeah. that's all they could afford. As long as you're paying for it, I'm good. Well, yeah. Let's get to the results. Like Jonathan. Everything else up, huh? Jonathan, we ask you three questions. Number one no. Have you ever attempted no. to have sexual relations with Janice since no, she moved into no. your house? Nope. You said no. That was a lie. I told her. <laughs>
Janice, what happened? The my spa. The came into came into your, the no, spa I didn't ask you about sexual intercourse. Rose. What happened? What happened? <laughs> he, he came into my spa, yeah. and that was the first time, you know. What did he we, say or do? Come on, look at me. What did I do? I'm not a bad looking person. What did I do? All men are dogs. He's a dog, just like everyone else. And I was mad at her one day, and we got drunk, and whatever. <laughs> just tell her. Just tell them. We got drunk. Say what? You were drunk right there with me. I wasn't drunk. I'm just never tell drunk. Him. You might as well just say it. It's already out there. I've never, dog. I've never put my hand. Come on, on back, Kate. We got two more, honey. We got two more. It's embarrassing. Here, sit <laughs> right here. Sit right here in my seat. I shouldn't seat. even be with someone Number like that. Number two, like, I'm beautiful. I don't Jonathan. Deserve you. I, you don't deserve me. Have you ever had sexual relations <laughs> with Janet? No. You said no, no I, I, and I that was true. the true. truth. Oh, he okay. did not have oh, sex whatever. with her. He didn't. Okay. And number three. He tried to. He tried to. Yes. He tried to. It didn't happen. Number three. Are you okay, so maybe honey? Maybe she's the good friend. Maybe she's, even though she's she actually didn't do anything with him. Let's see. They Let's did not have one. sex. It Number three, him. Jonathan. And I kept telling you this. It was, it was him. It was I told me? you this. Fifth. Yes, it was you. What? you it was you. Because if house, it was up to me, all it takes for me is What man isn't going to just stay? Like, who cares? You walk around the house with Sex his thongs on all through the house. I'm not supposed man. to look. I'm not a grown. I'm not a man. Any man out there, if you if you're in a man out there, we're all coming with each other. You can walk, but you can't touch. I didn't touch. Each other. Number three, he, he desires. Caitlin, here's the big you. one for you, you're, honey. You're just an idiot. Like you're. I told you. Since you, you. Since you and Caitlin dissolved. have been together, yes, have you true. ever had sex relations with any woman besides Caitlin? You said no, and that was a lie. He cheated on you. Well, it's okay. I already knew just since you asked the first question. He's a dog. How did I meet you? And guess what? How I did I meet you? Were you with somebody when you met her? How did I meet you? I'm so happy to meet you. How did I meet you? How did I meet you? How did I meet you? How did you meet her? She was one. She was one of my girls. One of your girls. She was one of my girls. What do you mean? I met her. 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 My number one. Number one girl. Because she would bring you the most money. What is number one, two, three? What does that mean? That's my bum. That's your bum. That's my bum. She knows who it is. That's why. That's, that's, why she, that's it. It's out there. That's why she's innocent. Stop liar. Stop being innocent. Such a liar. It's a liar. Wait a Are you, you know a P.I.M.P.? No, he's not. He wish he was a P.I.M.P., yes, he is. but he's not. I'm picking yes, you. He has nothing do you to do sell with her me. directly or indirectly? <laughs> they sell her. I just you're collect. And you get a, you get a commission. You get a commission. 100% commission. They're, they're lying. All they do is lie. A lot Should more coming up, believe it or not. Stay right there. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see it. Now that the cheese is all over the crackers, how do my guests pick up the pieces and keep the peace? Here to give some much needed advice is Dr. Robbie Ludwig. Robbie, how you doing? Doing okay. Right, let's, you're right in the middle of this thing. Last night, the three of these individuals were in bed together. Last night. <laughs> Now, I don't know what the implications like literally are. Literally or figuratively? Literally. They're in bed together. Literally. literally. Jonathan, literally. who was well, in the middle? Because the other bed was flipped upside new. down. Upside down? Yeah, because you slept upside flips, down. She starts flipping chairs oh, in the nuts. hotel room, tries to break cups everywhere. Because she's going crazy because she caught him grabbing Punch big deal. Face, like, like we were all sleeping in a bed together. We're all comfortable with each other. At the end of the day, she wants to act like it's all me. I Baby girl, that. just as much as I he does. That. Really do. I sleep well. I, it's not my fault. Kate, are the three of you a couple her, together? No. I have never done anything with her. I slept with her. her you slept with her? I've never done anything with her. I slept with her. Such a lot. Wait a minute. So you slept with Caitlin. Caitlin slept with Janice. Caitlin slept with Jonathan. Jonathan had less slept with Janice. That's the only one here we haven't done. It is. Yeah. That's it, but... I've been with her. No, you've been, you you've been sexually. Okay. All right, hold on, Robbie. I, I just want you to say, I think we can see it's that this can go on and on and on and on. And on. And on. And on. Rob, so, Robbie's got the floor. I think one of the floor. things that's clear is that the two of you are not friends with each other. That's because right. friends don't attack and bring up secrets and like to see each other miserable. Yeah, okay? Now... There's a lot of, first of all, you're bad news. Wow, you're cute, bad news. but you're bad news because you are not a, a decent boyfriend. You look He's around, you cheat, you're not a, do you have a daughter or you have a son? I have a daughter. Do you Robbie, he's a pimp. Wait. He's a P-I-M-P. Right. He's well, a pimp. That, okay, that speaks for itself. But would you want your daughter with someone like you? No. That's on no, her. you wouldn't. Why? That's her. Because you're her? not a good what cat. That's on her. And, what a great father. And the thing is, what that's, that's your daughter's 
oh. tend to choose, right? They tend to choose people either very much like yes. their father yes. or someone who's not like That's their very father. True. So the fact that you can't say, I'm a great guy, I would love my daughter to choose someone like me, you need some work. Let's do this. Robbie, before we go to the next family, okay. Janice, let me ask you a question. Janice, there's been allegations from your best girlfriend and maybe from Jonathan sitting to your left that you have some alcohol problems. We've teamed up with Beachway Therapy Center, Florida's best drug and alcohol treatment center, and uh, they're going to give you a 30-day inpatient program that will help you get the treatment you need. Is there any chance? And this involves, Robbie, Janice, this involves maybe getting your daughter back, but you got to go in-house for 30 days and take care of your alcohol, will you go? I can't go in house. I can't. Will you go? No, not in house. I'm not staying. She's not, not ready. In that place for 30 She's days. not ready. I want help, but I don't want it that way. How do you I'm want not it? Staying I'm missing out of work. I can't do that. You need to get a counselor. I can't. Let me that. ask you this: If we work with this great That's center in days Florida, losing money. will you go through an evaluation? In other words, get evaluated by the experts and let them help you to get the help. Why it's worth like eighteen thousand dollars one -on -one for a thirty day. Me one -on -one. Right. Because if somebody is drinking and actively abusing drugs or alcohol, then they can't get treatment in an outpatient facility because they're not there yet. You have to be willing to give up what you're addicted to in order to get to the root of the problem. All right, Robbie, let's do this. Let's go to your left okay. because we have some situations here with uh, Whitney and Ashley. And Whitney came on the show wanting help for Ashley. And now mom, who I think has insight in all this, has come together, and I see mom holding Ashley's hand, and Ashley says she may want some help. What have you seen today that can help this family heal? It's hard for me to tell if what I'm looking at is sibling rivalry, if they're fighting over their mother's affection. But Ashley, do you want help? Yeah. You do? Okay. So that's a good sign. Unlike Janice. Rock bottom yet. So I don't know what rock bottom is, and hopefully she I'm won't take the help. Take the help. I'm She's to okay. Help. If it's so outpatient. she, she I'm wants outpatient. So let's get her outpatient. Let's see if outpatient with an AA program see works. See if it works. An evaluation. Let's see if it works. Yes. And then Ashley, we don't want to leave you out. We're willing to help you. We're going to give you a 30 day inpatient program as well. Will you go? It's $18,000 of serious help for a serious problem. It's the harp treatment center will you go Ashley Ashley will you go she's gonna go yeah. when we continue to bottom line for more info go to the website BillCunninghamShow.com want to take a peek behind the cameras then follow me on Twitter like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, or follow me on Instagram, because you don't want to miss a minute of the backstage drama. It's unedited, unfiltered, and unbelievable. All right, let's do this. Before the bottom line. Before the bottom line. Janice said to me, I need the help. I got to go. And Jonathan said, you're not going. You're not getting help. It's because of people like him that I'm so screwed up. But you told me you would do outpatient. Yes. I'll, Three hours a day, four days a week. And you I'm need so to learn to say no to unhealthy so people who doubt you. Unhealthy people want you unhealthy because it gives them power, right? Yeah, they love Thank you. you. Sick. Therese, what do you say? This isn't your daughter. Your daughter's there, but you know the mechanism. You know what's going on. What do you say to Janet? I would say for her not to listen to him. This is her life. She need to get her life together. Mm -hmm. To know, get her child you know back. What? I know. When it's all said and done, and then she's self-destruct, he's going to move on to the next person, and they're going to self-destruct. He needs so, a sick person. He, he needs somebody he sick. Needs you know, help. people love you sick, and they yeah. like to keep you sick. That's yeah. right. So when you will, they don't want to deal you with can. you. That's right. So, when I'm weak. you know, I want her to go get some help, too. I, I mean, I just love you. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I want to live there. We have given each of you a lifeline. Each of you have accepted, inpatient or outpatient, the help is there. Please do it for yourself. Not for your lovers, not for your friends. Do it for yourself and for your children. And here's the bottom line to all mothers with young kids. Maybe you're still too young and aren't quite ready to give up your wild ways. But once you gave birth, the whole world changed. And you've got to change with it. There is nothing more important than the health and happiness of your kid. So woman up. Say goodbye to the party life. It's time to focus on the kid you brought into the world.
I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time.